Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys? Hope that you are well. So today I am back with a new video. In this video, we are going to learn how to use how to use an API that makes top up to our operator and sends gift card or utility payments using Android Java. So first of all, we will go to the website to get an API key so you can see it here reloadly.com write this in your uh, chrome browser or opera mini or samsung browser after writing it then go to mobile uh, reloadly.com you can see that here so you can see that it's an API that provides us airtime air and data top up API we can earn you can get a gift card so you can send gift cards using this api okay you can see that here so you can uh, there is no chance actually for an api key right now you can get it free by get you clicking on get your api key create an account then you will get your api key for free so i have already logged in my reloadly.com let me show you so if you have already an account just click on login then you can log in in your account okay i will show it here i will just log in using my uh, email address so after logging in you will see a page like this so just turn on test mode because we are testing this for our develop, uh, development purpose so you have to do hot turn on the test mode on then you can you, uh, then your balance will be this demo balance for testing and get your api key by going on developers option on api settings then you can uh, get your api key here so we can see here mobile top up so if i click on top up i get my country address here a uh, country code here so it's my country code i am in bangladesh so i use bangladesh then if i and uh, enter a mobile number so if i click on next then it starts detecting the error then i can detach it by clicking on next or i can view data bundles okay here you can see that i can uh, view my operators data bundle operators data bundle that are available on this server so you can see that here so if I click on any of them and click on next then it will uh, automatically send a top up to my phone number but as it's for test development now because I turned on test mode on it won't send any money but it will show the uh, show that how does the API work so you can see in pricing here we have gift cards so we, uh, as if I search about free fire here it will show the available gift cards in every country you can see it here so after getting the api key here is my api key you can see that i will use my api key for my development so after getting this api key we will start our development so let's go to API documents. On API docs, we, we will first of all we will use Air, uh, Airtime API for a, using Airtime API. We need to generate a uh, authorization key for using the API key. So let's go on view Airtime API. Let's click on Quick Start. you can see it here so as we are using it for test development 
we have to use sandbox or if you are using it for live uh, if are if you are trying to make the api key live just uh, turn off test mode then recharge your money from uh, go after if you go on my wallet you can see that you can add your bank cards the, but first of all you have to turn off test mode on uh, turn off test mode then you can add a card or bank account to add money on your wallet after adding that if you did if you are using test mode then you have to use the link as sandbox if you are using the uh, if you are using test mode off then you have to use uh, you have to use uh, you have to use it use the link without sandbox so here we can see that how to generate a uh, authorization key for our server so let's generate that authorization key so first of all open your sketcher pro then create a new project called remotely authorization okay after creating it uh, change the project name if you want so i will change my project name and package name so i will change my package name also i will give it uh, com dot remotely dot api so after completing everything just click on create app so after creating app i will use a text view widget for getting the api to text view sorry i will use text view for getting the authorization key to text view so add an uh, component called request network from the component tab so i will give it auth after getting it i will request for api so for that i will add a button and i will name it called api sorry get api authorization okay after doing that i will go on click then i will uh, create two map variable as you can see it here we have to make a request body and a head a header for our api so how to i will show you how to do that so first of all i will cre uh, create a map variable called map1 then i will add another map variable called map2 after adding them so after adding them i will add a map, uh, map put key so you can see it here in the uh, request body its client id client secret and grant type and audience so i will create first of all client id here so it will be client id then the next will be uh, client secret okay so in here we have to enter our client id here then client secret in the next so i will enter my client id and client secret here so after adding them we can see grant type so we have to add grant type and audience so let's enter here grant type and grant type will be client sardinals and in the next one it will be audience and audience will be here you can see that they used topups.reloadly.com they are using it for live purpose but we are using for sandbox purpose or for testing purpose so you will use topups dash reloadly sorry not reloadly we will use sandbox here sandbox topup dash sandbox.reloadly.com so that the api will understand that we are requesting for a test purpose 
so you don't try to put uh, uh, you don't try to get the real money from your account it will try to get the test environment from your account so we will add a uh, we will add a block from our component tab and its name is uh, request network set perms to request type okay so set your request network component here and set the map variable here and the request type will be request body as we as you can see that it's requesting the it's uh, here they put request body here so after that we will add a header uh, header called content type so for that we will use map to key map to variable for uh, for header so let's write here content type content type after adding it we will use application application slash json json for our content type content type value so it will put a content type as a header in our api so for that let's set set headers block and use request network component and the map variable will be map to because we are using map to for putting uh, putting the header then we will start a request network method and the method will be post to url url will be our here you can see that what will be the url so in in our code you can see the url here http auth reloaded dot token so let's copy it and paste it here so after pasting it we will go on our request network component then we will add on the response block and we will add the set text view block here and i will and we will set text view one and we will get the response to our text view after doing this successfully just run the project after uh, signing the apk successfully let's install the build apk after installing successfully let's open the apk so here you can see that i have a text view and a button widget let's click on get api authorization so you can see that i got a generated Author, uh, authorization token for use and and uh, it can be used for send top ups read operators read promotions read top up history read prepared balance read prepared commissions etc and it will expire in uh, 86400 second for uh, api key actually uh, this authorization key actually uh, exist for 24 hours and token type is bearer so we successfully generated a token uh, token uh, api token uh, sorry not api token we generated a authorization token for our project and we need this authorization token for future uh, future access uh, like if we are going to request uh, if, if we are going to try if we are going to recharge any amount to our phone number we need to use this authorization token so from this we can, we, uh, we learn that we have to use sandbox for test purpose and if we are using it for live purpose just remove this uh, we have to remove the dash sandbox from this uh, not from from this from this link from audience we have to remove the sandbox for live purpose and if uh, we are using it for test purpose then we can use dot sandbox dash sandbox from it for it so thank you guys for watching this video Next uh, part is coming soon. Please subscribe and press the bell icon for latest notifications. Thank you guys.